What's up guys, welcome back to the Pittsburgh Industrial Railroad and Horseshoe Curve. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video of an unboxing of the new Lionel 21 inch passenger car. This is the theater car with the Wi-Fi camera. It is um, inserted into the back of the, the train car. So we're going to see what's up with this thing and how it works. Um, as you can see these are 054 minimum. Some of the details, interior lighting with LEDs. Alright, so let's check this thing out. Okay, so here's the car out of the box. As you can see, that Lionel is using these molded plastic inserts to hold the cars in. And then we got the, um, the manual. And inside this manual, I'm feeling this it's like a, it's kind of driver disc this just looks uh interesting <laughs> all right so i'm gonna open up the the car and at least get a look at the car right now all right so here's the car out of the box and uh my first impressions are it's nice um it's awfully red i don't know if you can tell in the video or not but it's um, definitely a brighter red than I've, I believe that this car would have been in person. Another thing I'm noticing is like this gap issue here on the, on the end, which looks like crap. And then uh, there's a big window on the end with the camera on the inside. There's the camera lens right there. Um, no figures, you know. That's a real bonus with sarcasm. But, um, yeah, we'll see what this thing's all about. Check it out. All right, so real quick before we put this thing on the track, taking a look at the underside. I uh, can see this thing has those um, spring-loaded couplers. And then uh, there's a switch here for the camera and the lights and then over here there's a, a reset switch and on the back end there's just a little dummy coupler all right so here it is on the track and as you can see it it does light up well on the interior with those led lights and then looking at the end cap uh, it's got some white and red Accent lighting. It's pretty neat. So um, I'm gonna have to take a look at this manual. Um, just taking a look through it right now and see what's in here. So it's. Showing you how to install Wi-Fi on your your smart device that you're using. Um, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. So it's telling you to look for the the ID number. Looks like right here, this is what you're gonna look for is Lionel Guest. That's on an Android device. There's more info here. Lionel Wi-Fi camera app icon. So you gotta download the, the Wi-Fi camera app. All right, so I'm kind of learning as I go here, guys. I see, so you add a new device, all right. All right, we'll have to try this out. And then here's showing you how you can navigate the live video screen. Looks like you can, there's record buttons, volume. I don't know if there's volume or not. 
Now there it goes. It does not have a microphone. So you can take snapshots, horizontal and vertical crews. You can flip the image, adjust the brightness and contrast. That's pretty cool. And this is showing you how to install the Wi-Fi on a PC or a Mac. That's what the, I assume that little disc is for. So I don't, I don't believe I'm gonna be doing that. I'll probably just use like an iPad or something. So see if I can get this app on my iPad here. I'm gonna go grab it. All right, so here's the Lino wireless camera app. And my iPad is downloading it right now. All right, so we're gonna open it. Here it is. All right, we're gonna allow that. Okay. So I believe what I need to do is go to my settings. Wi-Fi. This could be it right here. Let's try that. I've never seen that one before, so that's that has to be it. Okay. And then we're gonna go back to our camera app. Okay, here we go. Find a new device was added. Okay. Yes. Yes, it's saying the camera is online. Okay, we're gonna skip this right now. There it is, cool. All right, so as you can see, there I am. Here it is, real time. Going toward the hippie scene. Over there, there's the hippies. It's pretty neat. Let's push it up toward the horseshoe curve and see what happens here. So yeah, this is this is pretty neat. It was pretty easy to set up, as you can see. And um have to put a train in front of it now and try to test that out. All right, so just gonna quickly go over some of the features when you're in this app. If you tap the screen, this is something I have not even done myself yet, so I'm doing it for the first time with you guys. Um, looks like we got some brightness controls here. There's like a little slider there. That's adjusting the pixels. Sharpness, maybe? Okay, I don't know. Um, hmm. All right. Well, that changes like the the light color. Is it black and white. Okay. Here comes the color again. What's this do? I don't know the difference, what that did. Right, we'll just leave it as that. All right, um, there's the volume microphone, no good. This is where you can snap a picture. Let's snap a picture. Cool, all right. Then you can take a video. Recording has started. We'll just kinda push it toward the hippies again. Stop the video. Doesn't look like anything's happening when I touch these buttons. Oh, that like flipped it like, like a mirror image. Okay. 
Oh, that's, that's upside down, okay. This must go back. All right, that goes back to the main screen. And then, so you can do like live videos, snapshot. There's the picture we took. That's cool. How do I get out of it? Nope, that's not what I wanna do. Okay, this isn't very easy to do. A few moments later. What the heck? That's weird. Okay, well that worked. All right, well, this is pretty neat. Um, anyways, we'll do a, a quick run with it and I appreciate you watching the video, liking and subscribing. If you're new to the channel, my name's Nick. Thanks for stopping by. All right guys, I just did this uh, quick connect with the uh, Legacy ES44 and uh, we'll just take it for a quick spin so you can get an idea what it's like being pulled by a train. So here we go.